The former prefect for the Vatican's Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith weighs in on the role Christianity should play in politics. Cardinal Gerhard Mueller says the mission of politicians is not to promote the contents of faith, but rather to promote fundamental human rights and the social doctrine of the church. It was part of a wide-ranging interview that he gave to EWTN's Alejandro Bermudez last night in Rome. And Alejandro Bermudez joins us now. He is executive director of EWTN's Aussie Group. Alejandro, so good to see you again. Uh, as we are right in the heat of presidential elections right now, what did Cardinal Mueller have to say about the Christian influence in politics today? I had an opportunity to interview the cardinal for uh, one hour, Tracy. And as you know, he is fearless and he is very clear when he expresses himself. And one thing that he was uh, insistent in is that uh, no Catholic politician should claim to represent a Catholic doctrine if he or she is not willing to present and defend the wholesomeness of the Catholic uh, doctrine. And uh, he said, listen, a Catholic politician is not his task to go and preach uh, what we believe are Catholics, but it is very important that he represents him or herself as someone that is 100 percent consistent with the teachings of the Catholic Church, which starts with the defense of life and which uh, includes what we know as the, the non-negotiables. So being 50 percent or 70 percent in agreement with the Catholic teaching is not good enough for a politician that claims to be inspired by the Catholic faith. Well, earlier this month, Pope Francis released a new encyclical on building a more just society. What were the cardinal's thoughts on the encyclical? Well, he, uh, he was a, a little bit ironic when he mentioned the fact that you have hardcore socialist leaders that have never been known by, 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 being a, by, by having any kind of friendship with the Catholic Church. He specifically mentioned the president of Spain, for example, a, a well-known anti-Catholic socialist, claiming being anointed somehow by the encyclical because of the, the uh, important message of the encyclical referring to uh, so solidarity, social justice, and uh, an international friendship. But he said, what about when Pope says that uh, abortion is absolutely unacceptable? What about the parts that in which the encyclical says that a Catholic politician has to be an integral human being that defends the integrity of the human being beginning from the womb and ending with natural life. So he says, um, we have to be aware of that kind of, uh, of uh, pseudo-Catholic cynicism that claims to be anointed by the encyclical by ignoring key parts of it. Alejandro, was there anything else about the interview that really stuck out to you? Well, yes, he uh, he was basically giving this uh, interview, in, um, celebrating the 150 years of the proclamation of the dogma of the infallibility of uh, the Pope. And he explains the, the, the limits and the reason why that dogma was proclaimed, which is the fact that we Catholics have to remember that we belong to one church and that being faithful to the keys of Peter is quintessential for us Catholics and should prevail over every other idea, ideology, or political identity we have. Well, Alejandro, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Alejandro Bermudez, Executive Director of EWTN's Aussie Group. Thank you so much.